Mazuma TV, what's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mazuma Nation. Shout out to the Mazuma Ma. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. On my way to go get it, as always, man. Providing for me and mine. I hope you're doing the same. Um, I think it's time to have that serious discussion, man. I think it's time to have that serious discussion that's been going on in the YouTube boxing communities all around social media platforms, man. And um, it's something that I discussed on live. And if you guys haven't checked out my live, uh, feel free to go check it out, man. It was a it was a pretty pretty solid live, man. We was we had some great boxing talk, um, and there was a lot of stuff that we touched on on there. And it was a pretty dope live. Had like 30 people in there. So slowly but surely, we get into that ultimate goal, that road to 1K. But uh, besides that, what I want to speak on is the whole debate between uh, Jermell Charlo and Terrence Crawford. Who will be pound for pound number one if Jermell Charlo gets that victory over Saul Canelo Alvarez? Man, it's a big if in all honesty. Um, I'm rooting for Jermell a thousand percent, but um, I think it's definitely an uphill battle for him. And it is very difficult for me to see Jermell uh, be able to pull this victory off against Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's just me in all honesty, but I am rooting for him a thousand percent. I hope that he's able to prove me wrong. You know what I mean? But the, the question is, <clears throat> if Jamel Charlo defeats Saul Canelo Alvarez, despite all the odds against him, moving up two, two weight class, going up against one of the pound for pound uh, fighters of the world, you know what I mean? Beating the most pop, one of the biggest draws in boxing. Uh, a, a, a dangerous fighter at 168 pounds of Sa Saul Alvarez, you know what I mean? And Canelo. Um, if he's able to defeat him, does he have a claim for being pound for pound number one fighter in the world? Does he have a claim for being the best fighter in the world? You know what I mean? And I've seen people that was on opposite sides of the spectrum. I've seen uh, a few people say, nah, that goes to Terrence Crawford regardless, man. Um, he's been on top uh, for this long. He never had a close fight, blah, blah, blah. And they justified in saying that because that's valid points. But then there's people also on the other side that believe um, that Jermell really is facing more obstacles moving up two weight classes being on the b side um and the the um idea of really not knowing what um he's up against you know what i mean we don't know exactly how he's gonna do with the with the extra weight on him and um canelo's a fully acclimated 168 pound fighter so really it's like there's a lot of question marks that's around jermel charlo and if he's able to pass and flying colors that might be a more impressive win than Terry Crawford win against Earl Spence you know what I'm saying um in all honesty if you ask in my opinion um, I think it depends on the fashion in which Jermell Charlo wins you know what I'm saying I think it's the the fashion in which he if he does win it, it depends on the fashion in which he does uh it you know what I'm saying um if it's a if it's like a victory where he got the win but it wasn't that impressive then obviously I'm gonna still be leaning towards Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying? Um, however, if he's able to dominate Canelo Alvarez, if, he, if he's able to dominate him and possibly stop Canelo, somebody who had who's shown um, throughout um, his entire career that he's extremely durable, granite chin, um, and, and, and skill, you know what I'm saying? And skill. Um, if he's able to dominate that man and crack Canelo's chin and possibly stop him and win it in, in a dramatic fashion, then we seriously got to sit down at the table and have this discussion because um, that'll be extremely impressive, man. That'll be extremely impressive. Um, I only see Canelo hurt once, and this is when he was a young kid coming up on HBO. You know what I'm saying? That was a long time ago. Um, since then, I haven't even really seen moments where this guy has been off balance. You know what I'm saying? So real sturdy dude, real strong dude, real durable dude. If Jamel is able to move up two weight classes, put on 14 pounds, and um, do something to Canelo that full-fledged super middleweights haven't been able to do, then that's like that's like top-tier type of shit right there. You know what I'm saying? That's like um, unbelievable, shake the world, shock the... You know what I'm saying? Do some that's some legendary shit right there if he's able to do so. And in all honesty, I wouldn't be mad if um they would call Jamel the best fighter in the world after that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I respect Terrence Crawford and what he did in the fashion in which he beat Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really much going against Terrence Crawford in that fight. He was the favorite by Vegas. Um he got compensated well. Um 
and he had been at 147 for a very long time, had more than enough time to acclimate to the weight class. Uh, it wasn't really that much against him besides Earl Spence just being the, the threat that he is. You know what I'm saying? But um, Jamel Charlo got a way bigger hill to climb in this Canelo Alvarez fight. You know what I mean? There's a lot of question marks around him. If he's able to pass it in, uh, in dramatic fashion, if he's able to pass with flying colors and to make Canelo look average, bro, then, man, that would be extremely impressive. But at the end of the day, this is all ifs. You know what I mean? This is all just like... Um, this isn't facts. This isn't reality. You know what I mean? This is just a, a, a if kind of question. You know what I mean? Um, just a hypothetical situation as of right now. But um, I'm rooting for Jamel Charlo all the way. Um, in all honesty, I feel like it's an uphill battle. And I think that um, Canelo has a lot going his way. And for that reason, he might get the victory. But um, that's, just, that's just my take on the situation, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Jermel Charlo will be pound for pound number one if he defeats Canelo Alvarez? Or do you think that just goes to Terrence Crawford because of his longevity and how long he's been doing things? You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comments below. This is Mazuma TV, man. Shout out to Mazuma Nation and the Mazuma Mob, man. Hit the like, hit the comments, hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the bell notification so you'll be knowing when I post videos and go live. I appreciate you guys, man. Peace.